How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo21 back again with another pay per view in our UFC save in WMMA5. And here today we have UFC 307 Nama Yunus versus Stamp Fair Text 2. Uh, now I come at you with some very, very bad news. As you can see there, we only have one title fight. Chris Cyborg has missed weight yet again for another title fight. Really, really getting on my nerves. Now, what I could do is I could just say, well, you know what? It's hard for her to make featherweight. Let's just make a lightweight division for Cyborg. I don't want to do that. That would seem to me as a promoter like I'm almost gifting her a title because she can't make weight. So what is going to happen is I'm going to root, root very, very, very hard for Macy Chieson to get rid of Cyborg here and to win this fight. And if she wins... We're cutting Cyborg, we're out of the Cyborg business. Because we just can't have that. And I really have no plans to make a lightweight division. There's like 18 lightweight women in the world. Even if I had all of them, I would not want a division that that's that, that's that shallow. So I'm not about that. Um, we have some great fights on the card. Nonetheless, appreciate you guys, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. Sorry that one title fight got canceled as a result. These things happen. Um, I also screwed up a little bit. I didn't realize that I had scheduled this for a Friday. Uh, so that's why we're not getting the normal kind of intro going on. But nonetheless, we have Ray Broadaboy Cooper III, who uh, just last night, I believe, or Friday night in PFL got a big win, um, takes on Terry Brazier in our first prelim at Welterweight. And it's Terry Brazier in a fantastic fight, getting the win over Broadaboy Cooper. Gavin Hughes, who's kind of had a little bit of a fall from grace, taking on Jared Flash Gordon. Gavin is a big favorite. Gavin Hughes with the knockout in a little bit over a minute. Moving right along, Yoshihisa Fujimaki taking on Trevin Giles at middleweight, and it's the problem. Trevin Giles with a submission in round number three, taking out the 28-year-old 15th win of his career for Trevin Giles. Calling out, calling out Alexander Illich, by the way, who... Just got like a really, really good knockout in the last fight card. Anastasia Yankova taking on Michelle Aramdi out of Indonesia at Bantamweight. And it's Michelle Aramdi knocking out Anastasia Yankova in round number three. One and one in the UFC now. And that's a ranked fighter she just knocked out. Yankova just 0-2 in the UFC as well. Wazuka Shimazu taking on Kaliso Sangsorn in the Bantamweight division couple pretty good prospects here in the bantamweight division especially shimazu who i'm gonna guess takes it wazuka shimazu with the guillotine submission in round number one three and oh in the ufc looking fairly promising it says sarah morris is ducking her that is insane uh hesty gurgis taking on anton viazigan in our heavyweight division i still can't get over how upset i am that cyborg missed weight though uh heavyweight division gurgis i believe is in the bottom 25 of the rankings no he's number 12 why why how did i miss that all right taking on anton viaz again who is number 16 in the division six and two in the ufc and it is less than a minute anton viaz again getting it done the russian with a huge win here today knocks out stephen strube and now takes care of hesty gurgis Alex Cowboy Oliveira taking on Evander Kuhn. Now, Evander Kuhn, I was thinking was going to be a very, very good prospect. Still 9-1, 2-1 in the UFC. Lost to Dan Hooker his last time out. Not a very good sign considering Dan Hooker's not been doing very well. Um, no fight team for Cowboy Oliveira. My money's probably on Evander Kuhn. And he gets the TKO less than three and a half minutes into round number one. Tension Nasakawa taking on Joseph Morales at flyweight. Tension 11 and 1, 6 and 1 in the UFC. This guy probably should be ranked by now. Oh, he is. Number 22. Taking on Joseph Morales, number 18. Looking to get bumped up the rankings. And it's Joseph Morales in a fantastic fight. Getting a decision win over Morales. That guy's going to bump up the rankings. Only 26 years old. This guy's going to be a star. Next match Jojo Calderwood taking on Shandy Aguda. At flyweight, JoJo's higher up than Aguda. 
Aguda wants to climb up the rankings. Aguda is a huge favorite despite not having a fight team. And it is Shandy Aguda. Almost a minute into round number two, taking care of Jojo Calderwood, who's on a four fight losing streak now. She might even retire. She's 37. She does not retire. Annie Kianzad taking on Julia Stoliorenko in the Bantamweight division. A lot of movement about to happen in these women's division. Uh, final fight. Just saw Julia Stoliorenko almost snap a girl's arm in half on the first fight of the most recent pay-per-view. Uh, but it's Panny Kianzad getting the unanimous decision after three rounds. Probably jumping into the top 15 after losing to Sarah Morris. As we head to the main card. The winner of this one between Dominic Reyes and Vulcan Uzdemir will be the next challenger for the light heavyweight championship. Now, Dominic Reyes has had a very frustrating time. You can see there, lost to John Jones. Lost to John Jones again. Lost to Junior Dos Santos after going on a four-fight winning streak. Then lost to Shogun Hua for the interim title. So this guy has not touched gold at all. Vulcan Uzdemir, on the other hand, lost to Shogun Hua as well for the interim title. And long, long time ago, he lost to Daniel Cormier. This is to see who's going to fight for the title. And it's Vulcan Uzdemir knocks out Dominic Reyes in two minutes. That is insane. But congrats to Vulcan Uzdemir. Uh, he's going to be fighting John Jones, if, if you want to call that a, a gift or something to be excited about. Warley Alves taking on Vicente Luque. Vicente Luque, of course, a, a former dominant champion in the welterweight division. Warley Alves, former uh, title contender. You can see Warley Alves 13 and 6 in the UFC, coming off a big win over Takashi Sato after losing to Ismail Nardiev. Vicente Luque, on the other hand, number five in the division, lost to Nardiev for the title. Um, so just kind of trying to get his bearings back. It's going to be weird. He really should not fight Nardiev again. He's lost to him twice by TKO. So he kind of just wants to get his bearings back, get a win under his belt. And that's exactly what he does a knockout over Warley Alves in round number one. Vicente Luque back in the win column. Alexander the Great Hernandez taking on Super Sage Northcutt in the lightweight division. Super Sage number 14 in the division on a four fight winning streak. The last one being over Gavin Hughes. Alexander Hernandez number 10 in the division. A loss to Gary Tonin his last time out. It is a big fight. Sage Northcutt, huge favorite. Super Sage Northcutt. Two minutes and 48 seconds into round number one gets the TKO victory. <coughs> Which brings us to our co-main event. It's not even for a title. So we're not even going to bother going through the whole fight. Chris Cyborg misses weight yet again at featherweight, our highest weight for women at least. Did the same thing against Marina Moknat Kina. She still knocked her out. I'm really hoping the same does not happen here against Macy Chason, who is our current featherweight champion after beating Janae Harding. She's been doing very well. I mean, she fought Amanda Nunes for the Bantamweight title, came up short, is what it is. She's still been doing very well for herself. I really hope that she can beat Cyborg here today and we can cut her. <laughs> I don't even care that we're going to probably have to pay her a buttload of money. Four of which are guaranteed. Completed one fight, so we're going to have to pay her like $450,000. We're probably just going to end up sending her down to Invicta. If what, that's what it really is. She can toil her time over in Invicta or retire right now after Macy Chieson knocks her out. Let's go, Macy. Macy Chieson defeats Cyborg Justino via submission in round number three. Build the de facto featherweight champion. Does Cyborg retire here? She does not. Okay. Well, to Invicta she goes. Doug Rose Nama Yunus taking on Stamp Fairtex in our main event for the women's straw weight title. Stamp Fairtex. Fought Rose, lost to Harika Tiburcio, beat Amanda Hibas, beat Tatiana Suarez, and then got her win back from Harika Tiburcio. That's all you can really ask of her. She won the fights that she was scheduled for. And so she faces a high level international, by the way, facing off against Thug Rose Nama Yunus. This girl's been unstoppable, has not lost a fight 
since fighting Zhang Wei Li in 2020 in my save. It will have been about five years in game. Pretty much. Just about. That is insane. She is now 20 and 5. After starting out at like 9 and 3. 8 and 3, really. That's insane. Since winning the title over Claudia Gadelia, she has defended it against Weili Zhang, Carla Asparsa, Amanda Hebos, Stamp Fairtex, Carla Asparsa, and Mei Rong Ho. It is our main event of the evening for the strawweight title. Let's get it going. Doug Rose does not have a fight team, I just noticed. I wonder what that is about. <coughs> Nama Yunus getting in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Stamp Fairtex looking to finish her off. Ooh, Nama Yunus is not troubled by them. Oh, almost ending it there with Stamp Fairtex. She might rue that she did not finish her there. The 27-year-old, her best opportunity there to finish off Doug Rose. And that runs out on round one. Stamp Fairtex did win the round, though. Right hook is ducked. Both coming in to strike. Great right hook. A minute, minute and a half gone in round number two. Nama Yuna's going for a takedown. She can't get it. The Muay Thai clench here. Back of the head. Knee to the chest. Vicious elbow to the face. A cut on Fairtex. Oh my god. So let's take a look at that again. Nami Yunus uses a knee strike, but doesn't connect. Stamp Fairtex isn't able to get free of the clinch either. Using the clinch, Nami Yunus hits a brutal elbow to the face. Stamp Fairtex crumples to the ground out cold. Your winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC strawweight champion is Thug Rose Nami Yunus. Unbelievable. She is looking forward to the next challenger stepping forward. Live from Illinois, Chicago, brought in 30,000 in attendance, 7.5 million at the gate, 37 million at the pay per view. Gotta love it. Gotta hate Cyborg missing weight yet again. Popularity increases all around. You gotta love it. Fantastic. Well, we had two fantastic fights. We'll give it to Morales and Tension. We'll still give these two boys 100K since they had a fantastic fight. First round finishes, Sage Northcutt, Vicente Luque, Hulk and Uzdemir all get 100k. Evander Kuhn 100k, Diaz again 100k, Shimadzu 100k, Gavin Hughes 100k. Gotta love it. I'm giving out some money today and we still made 40 million in profit. Beautiful. Highest paid fighters of the night, Stamp Fairtex, Rose Nama Yunus, Sage Northcutt, Vicente Luque. Beautiful. Appreciate you guys for watching, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch. Thank you for watching this pay-per-view. Got a lot more WMMA5 content coming out. Also be on the lookout for my Football Manager Series, Tennis Manager 2022 Series. Obviously, we got more W3 coming out, the local to global. I'm AZPlow21, and I will see you guys at the fights.